Hi, I'm Mike with Tire Chains RS. Today we're going to install tire chains on a skid motor. One of the things we tell our customers all the time is we recommend a square alloy link chain. The twisted carbon, uh, hardened carbon steel just doesn't cut it for this type of application. With the twisting and turning, the friction provided by the way a skid loader operates, this is the only way to go. First thing to do is lay your chain out beside the piece of equipment. Make sure all of your side chain hooks are facing up and your cross links are square and not twisted. From here, the best way is really to grab the center of the chain, lift it up and over the tire, which I'll do now. As you lay it on there, what you're really trying to do is make sure this out, outward chain is in the center of the sidewall. The other thing to make sure is that you've got the same amount of space between each of your cross chains. That ensures that your chain's being installed squarely on the tire. And lastly, before you move the machine forward or backwards to square it up, you want to make sure your side chain fastener is outside of the tire's path so we don't damage this piece of equipment. With that, you're ready to move the chain forward and complete the installation. So after you've completed the side chain hook install on the back side of the tire, we'll now complete the side chain fastener install on the outside of the tire. The goal is to get the chain as tight as you can by hand. So if you know you can get a tighter link, take the excess links, or the trailers as they're referred to, put them behind your hand, which will allow to keep this link open, and then feed the fastener through. Pull the fastener towards you to close it, and then slide the clip over the fastener to lock it in place. Now with the outside fastener complete, the chain's almost done. The last thing we recommend to check for fitment, make sure it's in the center of the sidewall, and then also we recommend a side chain tensioner or, a, or a, even a bungee strap will do from side to side. It'll keep the chain tight and centered on the wheel. With the chain now installed, you're ready for snow and ice.